where is my presentation i guess we can begin we will not wait for others so hello everybody just a second i will put the recording what about those who are listening me on youtube because today we have translation and live on youtube this webinar is less translated uh, there are two so can you write in the chat in youtube too if you can hear me and see me because here are also some people who are watching on youtube okay so i will put the recording so hello everybody welcome to our today's webinar which is called all the most interesting and up-to-date in the world of sky world community you are welcome and thank you for coming on time so uh first i want to tell you that these webinars are based on uh alexei suhadoev's webinars alexei suhadoev is a board member of sky world community and so today's webinar is also most of the thesis which I will tell you today are based on his webinars uh, in Russian language. And as I'm his assistant, I will, and the speaker of SkyVault community, I um, hold this webinar. So let me introduce myself. My name is Leonid Rachmanov. I'm a business assistant of Alexei Suhadoev, and I'm an investor in this project since 2017. And I have partners from nine countries, from Philippines, Korea, Uzbekistan, Malaysia, South Africa, Karol Pakistan, and also Guyana, Ethiopia, and, and even more. So, and also I am a certified trainer and speaker of Skyworld Communities Major League. And besides, I am a mnemonics trainer. I help people to develop their memory. And I entered world ranking of top 120 in the world uh, in memory league uh, of memorizing so and i can speak five languages and english language is not my native language so pardon me if i make mistakes so i just introduced myself and now i want to ask you so dear participants where are you from our community is international because it is sky world community uh, hundreds of countries participate in the project so uh please write your country in the chat here in mirapolis in the webinar and in the youtube uh chat too so let's see how many countries uh do participate today in our webinar so okay nicola yaguarab oh great so uh, let me make it a little bit yes so what about others so where are you from me myself i am from uzbekistan for example so hello from argentina hello cecilia uh, nice to see you on youtube great so others do not write <laughs> okay so let's continue uh, so what are we going to talk uh, to speak about today so first uh, point is about transformation of the community of sky world community of swc so what is going to be uh in our community what changes and what um uh, things will be so and also news impressions and videos and photos from our recent trip to Eka Tikna Park and Eka Park in Belarus and to production um, of the string transport. So I will share it with you and uh, these impressions and thoughts and news, of course, and about new modes and new track structures. So what's going on? And uh, we will talk about uh, results of visits of delegations because as you know lots of delegations are visiting uh, the centers in Sharjah and in Belarus so and we will talk about uh, we will speak about three reasons why UNISKI string technology 
is in high demand, especially at this time. So what are these three reasons? So, okay, uh, let's start. Are you ready? You can put some emojis of fire, for example, or emoji of string transport in the chat if you are ready to begin. Uh, so show your reaction if you want to hear this information. Hello from Spain, Leonid. Uh, Leonid, camera выключена. Uh, no, my camera is on. So please, Ivan, uh, people in the translation, Ivan, там камера у вас выключена. Включите, пожалуйста. Uh, в трансляции не видно мою камеру. So please turn on my camera on YouTube translation. Ah, Anna, это Anna. Hello, Anna. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you for coming today. So, okay. Uh, so, uh, first, what I want uh, to show you, as usually in the webinars, so the difference between Skywall community and Unitsky String Technologies, because these are two different companies. And you, what is Unitsky String Technologies? Unitsky String Technologies yeah, is an international engineering company engaged in the design, construction, and certification of high-speed urban and freight transport system. So here, one of the pictures, of recent pictures of our visit. I will show you some more and video too, a little bit later. So, just a second. So, and uh, so this is Unisky String Technology. And... Skyworld community is the largest international venture capital platform which attracts investment in Unitsky String Technologies. So shares are formalized through a convertible loan scheme. And uh, Skyworld community is a large flexible company that finance primarily Unitsky String Technologies but has its own development roadmap. So and that's we also will talk about, speak about today, about Skyworld community. And here is a picture of our forum, which was recently in Minsk, in Marina Gorka city, uh, in Echo Park. So uh, this is the difference. So you see Unisky String Technologies and Skyworld community. Probably most of you knew it, but here we can have people who do not know. That's why I just showed the difference. So. And uh, now let's speak about transformation of Skyworld communities community. Yeah, I will open another presentation about this. So can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. So uh, why we are speaking about community? Because community unites people. And uh, according to statistics, 79% of people feel lonely in the world and that's why community is a key of human need so people want to be together to uh, do different kind of actions different kind of trainings and such such kind of things which unites them and it gives some happiness and uh, the mission of we swc 3.0 version community management is to enable individuals to show themselves in the community. So each of you, each person matters and each person can show their talents now uh, in the new version of our community because now we are starting to transform it, to develop it and uh, lots of things will be. So, and the goal of, uh, of community management is to enable people to build communications and activities around common ideas in new ways. And so uh, what changes are happening? Um, I will tell it also now. So hello, Nigeria. Hello, Ahmed Suleiman Bazumi. Nice to see you. Great. So, mm -hmm. so the goal of the V Skyhold community three third version yeah architecture is to build a united trusting space of like-minded people with entry 
through training where the community participant will feel their personal growth, as I said, yeah, show their talents and find a strong environment and receive the necessary financial motivation also. So uh, what things are being done to develop our community now? So first is uh, different kinds of events as online and as offline are going to be held in the near future and being planned now. And one of them just was recently uh, where from I came, yeah, forum uh, and no forum. <laughs> it was called like this of Skywall community, uh, third version of community. And um, it will be, an, I, you will see uh, the videos from this um meetings a little bit later in your personal online account i will show you a little bit part today but uh more impressions you can get a little bit later <laughs> so and also of course participate in such kind of events as online and as offline together with each other so and then uh social networks so as developing with social networks which uh, are already presented to, um, today, nowadays, like Telegram, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. And also developing new uh, social networks as well, for example, LinkedIn and others, so which are popular just in special areas because in some places, in some regions, there are different kinds of popular social media and which are popular only there. and. Uh, Sky World at for Sky World community, everybody, uh, every region matters. That's why we will develop it everywhere and um, in a comfortable way for people in their social networks, which they like. So probably you have already um, saw and noticed that some kind of uh, actions are being done in our Telegram channels and Facebook. For example, if you are in the Telegram channel of Skyworld community and you have noticed it, you can put your reaction in the chat. Here we have the chat. So if you have uh, noticed from the just recent time that some kind of actions, some kind of questions and interactions in the social networks of Skyworld community started happening, not just news and news, but also some interactive interactions and some kind of um, activities yeah uh ella foge ella silvia you noticed it great so i'm glad to see this yes because this is all just started and you will see even more in the near future because a big team uh hired to develop this kind of things we have uh, community managers we have uh, the head of PR, we have the head of marketing. So new members of Skyworld communities, team and management, and it will be developed uh, in the near future. So uh, wait for updates. So uh, social networks. And then the third point is new roles. So and be ready to participate in some kind of t activities and uh, to do the things what you want. For example, we will have new roles like trainers, speakers, and also uh, such kind of roles like uh, caseologist, for example, the person who uh, speak with other partners and study their cases and then uh, share their stories with others. For example, how this person reached uh, some kind of success uh, in our company and how it was and others, others' roles and um, professions will appear and you will see um, this too in news. So, uh, and then of course, another thing is developing, which helps to develop the, uh, to, to help um, to develop our community is the platform of education and adaptation. So and more than 10 methodologies and more than 10 experts and speakers are working on it to develop it, to create it. And besides of them, 
top spe specialists like developers, designers, copywriters, marketer, project manager, and experts, community managers head of sales department and translators in seven languages and lots of other specialists are working on it. And probably if you remember in previous webinars, uh, I told you that it was in created in Russian and was translated in other languages. But now we just uh, tried it in um, small audience and uh, decided to change plans and not just translate, but to adapt and to um, to how to say to uh, as I said English is not my <laughs> native language so to um, so to see national and like mental uh, different kind of things of different regions for example Vietnamese people have different kind of mentality for example African people have another kind so we will not just translate from uh, one language to another. We will find uh, the speakers, the experts in this area, in these regions, which uh, expert who knows the mentality of uh, of these regions, people and uh, their kind of like thoughts and behavior and needs, of course, and to uh, give this information in such a way to be to be how to say. Uh, in the best way, yeah? So that's why it will be adapted in a different kind of mental groups, not just translated. That thought I want to tell you. And then, uh, so educational courses like on sales, Instagram, video creation, work with cold base, for example, some of you work with icebreaker program, uh, like networking, uh, personal brand development, creating your own training, team building, burnout management client psychology uh, mental development and many other courses and lessons will be available there for different kind of statuses and different kind of needs of people in the platform and there you have such opportunities like to become a uh, platform speaker to and to increase your team by times with a minimum effort because it's it will be like automatic system because uh, first uh steps first stages of this platform will be for newcomers to show them the benefits to show them facts about the project and to help them to uh, make a decision to join the project or not and uh, to show all these facts and benefits of the project that's why it, it will be like automated system for you you can uh for you yourself as well for example if you are a newcomer a new member and for people for example if you invite them here so and of course develop your personal qualities and ideas with skyworld community support and tracking tutoring and mentoring so uh, that was updates about community and platform so and now let's go back to our previous presentation. So, okay. So how is YouTube? My camera is on now or no? So, okay. So let's continue. We just spoken about transformation of community of SWC and platform of education. So, hello, Safi Mieri uh, from Nigeria. Nice to see you. Hello, dear Dr. Christian Van den Weiver. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Uh, also from Nigeria and from Belgium. And Shamaki Usman, also from Nigeria. Great. Nice to see you all. So, here also you can see the flag of Nigeria. You see? in the uh, presentation because i also personally have some a few partners from nigeria too and from guyana from uzbekistan from philippines from ethiopia and we brought the flags uh, of these countries to and i know that lots of partners from nigeria to participate in today's webinar too <laughs> yeah as we can see so uh to make pictures near the string transport so 
And now I want to share with you some impressions and photos and videos from our trip. Uh, so let me put the video on. Uh, so somebody is asking, please. So some people are having difficulty logging in. Unaek Bright is asking, please, is there a YouTube link available? Good evening, Bright from Nigeria. Yes, sure, I will just put it in the chat. You can share with your people this link. So, and now I will put the video. Uh, do you want the video from our recent trip? I just created it today from short, short videos, which I made um, during our journey. So this was the short video from our trip to the center of Unitsky String Technologies in Belarus. So, and I personally was happy to see it in real life. I visited in Sharjah, but as you know, there is uh, only one module which um, is going from one station to another. But here, as you have seen, lots of modules uh, is going from one place to another and it was like mm, amazing for me to see it like I was in the future and uh, for example me myself I've joined in 2003 there is written name of the investor who planted it so and also besides of the mm, modules which you have probably seen on other videos and other news we saw new modes and new uh, track structures which are being constructed and created. So as I promised you to tell about it, uh, I'm telling it now. So you see here, uh, we were staying in these houses. Uh, I do not know, can you see my mouse or not? So here, echo houses. So we lived, in, we stayed in them and just near them, a uh, new station is being built for the light track structure for uh, uni light, you light, and uh, to go from these echo houses to fishing place for place for fishing. For there is also a restaurant and also a zone for picnic and other kind of activities. So people for people to go easily from echo houses to this place because it's really um, how to say a good distance. Because for example, to go with, uh, on food lots of time needed but here you just can uh, go out from your eco house and sit inside you light and go to enjoying the sceneries because there is a really beautiful nature also there and so it's being constructed so for example this one is for station and for corner and uh, also there are middle like anchor units yeah here so and just the string to put is left yeah here you see so we have seen this new track structure which is being constructed there in echo park so uh, and also we saw uh, the new models and we have visited production of uniski string string technologies so here you also can see logo uh, of uh, on the car yeah we visited it and there we talked personally to the directors of this plant and there we also they uh, made like excursion for us explained everything in details every engineering like details and um all the stuff and also i have seen um this probably you also saw in videos big like um how it's called uh, to create parts of 
uh, string transport and modules. So um, Akuma and Haas, yeah, uh, stations, and we have seen them, and we have seen uh, the new modules which are created there too for 25 people. So as you see in the picture, so it's really big. And some people ask why it is like um, in another kind of design, not similar to previous modules, because it's the needs like uh, of the place uh, to show that could be different. For example, this uh, is made for uh, chargers uh, track structure, heavy structure, and there to enjoy the sceneries uh, from all, how to say it, from all sides. You see, um, at the top side and the, from the back side, here is the glass, and uh, no driver, and people can sit and can stay and enjoy the sceneries and uh, go in the safe way on the speed of 100 kilometers per hour, just imagine without any traffic jams. So I guess you know this, <laughs> so that this transport uh, can go without any traffic jams, yeah. And also we saw the Unilight module, uh, which is really designed very beautiful, but I do not have its picture, but I guess you will see it a little bit later in news, which was created for this structure, which I have shown you just a few slides before. Yeah, for this structure, which it was made. So we have so we have seen the, them, so uh, new track structures and new models. And now let's move to the next part. By the way, so have you enjoyed with me these photos and videos and enjoyed that you are uh, also the part of this project, you also supported it? So give me your reaction in the chat, please. So I will see on YouTube too. Yeah, great. Camera is on now on YouTube too. Oh, Mr. Unayebukbu Bright, super progress. Great. Uh, Ella Floge, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Ella Floge, Eli Silvia, thank you. I see your emojis, your reactions. And Mr. Just a second. Lobman Arnold, great. Thank you so far. You are welcome. I'm glad to hear if it was um, like good information for you and you liked it. So thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your reaction. And thank you, dear Christian Van den Weiber. You do nice presentation. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your feedback. So, uh, and of course, I also happy to be part of this project and to be part as well as of Skyworld community and to um, have the opportunity to support Unitsky string technologies as well. So now let's move to the next part. So uh, let's speak about results of visits of delegations. So probably some people can ask the question, so many delegations are visiting the center and what? Yeah, for example, on my previous webinars and in news in your personal online account, you could see um, lots of delegations that come to Sharjah, United Arabic Emirates, to uh, Belarus in Marina Gorka city. And what? Yeah, some people can ask it. So, for example, on the last webinar, we have spoken about the delegation from Rwanda, if you remember. And what has happened now? So the delegation came and after that, they become interested in the technology. And then uh, the UNISCO student technologies participated on the exhibition on the forum on in Rwanda. And in this meeting, uh, the meeting was attended by in infrastructure minister Ernest Nsambi Mana and vice mayor in charge of Kigali urbanization and infrastructure Namaguru Mirar and managing director of Kigali Innovation 
City Tesi Rusa Gara. So such people were participating and attending there, and the project, the string transport project, was presented there. And also uh, the ro the the way was proposed, the route scheme was proposed and even counted. So how many people can go? So uh, and here you can see. So uh, here we have. 20 kilometers long and the travel time will be 11 minutes just imagine 20 kilometers just in 11 minutes so uh, this route is planning from airport and to the Kivai city Kigali city and so and it could uh, go in the 106 kilometers per hour speed without any traffic jams fast safe and with beautiful sceneries from your window. So, and it was uh, offered there in Rwanda and uh, this official people and government really was interested in it to build it there. And uh, these modules were offered um, and discussed as options for public transportation on this route. So Unilight, yeah, and Unicar. Mm -hmm. And Unicar in Unilight, as I said, uh, is now being built in production and the track structure for it is being built uh, in Marina Gorka too. So, and these two modules were offered to build there. So Rwanda and besides of Rwanda, for example, another example, Lesotho. Lesotho is also interested in string technologies. And if you remember on previous webinars, I also told that a uh, delegation from Lesotho visited uh, the Sharjah, Sharjah Center and become interested, the king of Rwanda visited. And now, so what you see, the um, Alex Zaretsky from UNESCO String Technologies came himself to uh, Lesotho and now they are discussing to build it there because the territory of the country is located at the height at altitude of 1,400 meters above. And it is difficult to build uh, other kind of uh, roads there, any kind of other transportation there and uh, expensive. But string transport, as you know, could can be built anywhere and at a much cheaper price. So that's why, of course, the end ecologically friendly of course for our earth and safe for people and this way uh, it's also like good option for Lesotho and they as you see uh, see it as a potential uh, and effective alternative to build it there in Lesotho and during this meeting the prime minister of Lesotho uh, uh, the issue of using string transport in the capital of the country, the city of Macero, has been discussed. So, as I said, to build it there. So, and besides of this, if you remember, four contracts were signed. So, four more countries will start construction soon. So, commercial projects. And what countries exactly, uh, we do not know now because it is confidential information it will be announced by these countries themselves but what we know is that some countries of them are situated in asia and that some countries are uh, arabic countries so let's wait for the news and uh, but it is a fact that it will be built soon in these four countries because the contracts were already signed and now it is uh, being researched there so, and you see new countries are just adding, adding and uh, new contracts will be. So uh, now we have just dis discussed about delegations and what results they can bring. And now let's see. So what are the three reasons why Unitsky String Technologies Transport is in high demand, especially at this time? So if you remember, just a second. If you remember, uh, on previous webinars, I told you these three reasons and told you in more in deep details why are they the reasons. 
So uh, Unix key string technologies is in high demand in today's world in terms of resources, in terms of transport and assets. So uh, if you want to see it in deep details, you can watch the recordings of previous webinars. But today I want to just add some details and news um, as from Alexei's Sohadoyev's webinars and from my own experience too, from recent journey to one museum. I will show you a little bit later. So what is it? So first, in terms of transport, of course, you know, there is a problem of transport almost everywhere in the world, traffic jams, um, incidents and pollution and um, lots, lots of things, lots of stuff. And transport today's transport creates lots of problems. And uh, what are the other solutions to such problems? Some countries do different kind of solutions. For example, in Switzerland, they are now planet and starting creating underground autonomous cargo delivery. And just look at numbers and compare it with Unitsky string technologies. Here, uh, you can also visit this website at the bottom of the page. Uh, it is written there. So around 30 billions of dollars are needed to build 500 kilometers network and it will be underground. So it is needed to uh, like make a route there to put these tubes and every stuff. And also in this website, if you go there, you can see that it can reach speed only 30 kilometers per hour. Just compare with the transport of Unisky string technologies, yeah? Which can reach the speed of 100 kilometers per hour. And if we speak about a uh, high speed module, which is it, which will be built uh, in soon, yeah? It, it can reach 500 kilometers per hour. And at a much cheaper price could be built. So, okay, but they see such a solution uh, probably they think that it's effective, okay? So, and also some people use electric cars. I will not stop at this point because we discussed the problems of electric car, such as Tesla and electric taxis uh, on previous webinars, but just a recent news that Tesla's director of artificial intelligence is leaving the company, maybe because of the problems of um related to, to this car i do not know so but it is uh, some news <laughs> from this company and also another uh <clears throat> solution for example in georgia they are being built they are planning to build a 50 kilometer road uh, at the picot pass underground again they are mm, making tunnels tubes and such kind of massive things i do not know i'm not an ecologist but in my opinion probably you also think so uh, such creating of such big uh, massive things and <clears throat> disturbing forests and animals and mountains it will affect uh, the animals and nature's life so Again, if we compare it with Unisky string technologies, which can be built uh, above the ground, it, it can be easily go above the forest, mountains, oceans, without any disturbance to animals, to people uh, who can go on the ground and at a much cheaper price and uh, in a safe way. Yeah. And ecologically friendly, as I said. So uh, it was in terms of transport. And the second reason in terms of assets. So um, again, in deep details, what has happened today in the world, it is big crisis in lots of countries. So uh, we discussed it in previous webinars, but I wanted to add one thing. I just recently was in museum of money. <laughs> you see lots of money there of different countries. So all countries are presented there all money of all countries i visited it and um, listened to excursion and there and also i saw money of nigeria too as well and belgium and 
other countries but today i saw only nigeria and belgium yeah and spain in the chat also and argentina yeah this money also were presented there but by the way uh one interesting thing uh i want to show you so about deeper inflation so you know inflation when money just um, decreasing in their value and here you can see in zimbabwe in africa when it was deeper inflation there was money which which nominal was 100 billions dollars you see it is real money so here is five billion dollars and so 100 billion dollars and it's just the beginning it was in zimbabwe and let's uh mr dr christian wanden weiber is writing in nigeria we have inflation from 60 percent wow it's also um big numbers so yeah you see inflation is going on and uh here are presented some historical uh actions but nobody is guaranteed to happen it again because crisis is being in lots of countries today and as you have written in nigeria it's also inflation so zimbabwe another example here you can see yugoslavia um the former country of um ussr yeah and here you can see the uh, money of 500 billion dinars just imagine what what a big number so such a keeper inflation and um, the maximum the highest rate ever which was happened it was in hungary uh, and here you see the money there is no numbers but it is written that it is two six trillions pango you see how many zeros if you count so it is 21 zeros there <laughs> two and zero 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 <laughs> and so on so deeper inflation you see in now also such kind of thing is happening in lots of countries so money lose their value just the paper that's why people who want to save their money and even to uh, increase them they invest in assets so and such kind of asset could be uh, technologies and especially technologies which uh, have the future like unitsky stream technologies of course so here you also can um, through convertible loan agreement get your shares yeah and also have such an opportunity here so uh, that's why the second terms was uh, deeper inflation and so third reason is resources natural resources which are also limited of course and i will not stop on this place because it's really you i guess you understand today's transport consumes lots of energy and if we speak uh, directly about solution about unique string technologies it runs on clean energy and up to 15 times less electricity is consumed by the string transport than by the car and as i said you we visited production and i spoke to director about this question so and he told me that um, because of efficient um, way and efficient every detail in in these pods in these modules that's why it is such an efficient even if it use uh accumulators and batteries for example as an electric car but it is more than it could can be built uh, it can how to say um consume five times less than electric car for example just even using the same batteries for example so because it's use um less energy and also do not if you can see from this slide also do not create any harmful emission to the ecology to the atmosphere so so that was the third um, reason uh, in terms of resources yeah just imagine if 
such a transport would be built everywhere in the world, in your country, in my country, and we could enjoy traveling and could enjoy sceneries, could enjoy and at a cheaper price, yeah, and in a safe way as for planet, as for people inside and outside. So I'm happy to support such a project. And uh, if we go back to about to speak about Skyworld community, about events which are happen um, in Skyworld community, if you remember, I told you at the beginning that uh, transformations and development is on the way on in sky world community so let's do it together let's participate on other upcoming events together um, just see updates in your online personal office in your account see news and uh, in official uh, social networks of sky world community just uh, watch the news and let's develop together let's train let's um, share our experience because for example we participated there and for example in the previous picture you can see board members of sky world community and i and my mom also uh here with them taking picture and uh, you know they are really really great people because you can speak with them and learn so many things and share experience and uh, they can give you feedback answer your question and they are ready to help you to help our active partners to develop and so uh, i was happy to uh, how to say to see them in real life and to meet them face to face and uh, i was happy <laughs> as i said so and active leaders for example from kyrgyzstan and i myself and my mother from uzbekistan and also we uh, met from spain from other countries from estonia from Lifa, and so that's why let's participate together on other meetings as online as offline and um, in sky world community so by now what questions do you have maybe something is unclear for you maybe you want to clarify something or just you can share your impressions and thoughts about the things which we discussed today and spoken about so mr felix bielu in youtube is writing powerful ideas great thank you for your thoughts for your feedback So waiting a little bit for your questions, a few minutes. By the way, uh, have you liked today's webinar? You can also write it if yes in the chat. So usually this webinar is held every third Wednesday of the month so once a month every third wednesday but today we are on the fourth wednesday because uh, on the last wednesday on the third wednesday i was in belarus uh, in these meetings and trainings and by the way there was a uh, training from uh, michael bank himself which was adapted uh, to sky world community on how to work with potential clients on how to work with self-development, on how to deal with objections and such kind of things. And it is also was recorded and it will be available on the platform of education and adaptation of SkyVault community too. And lots of other courses, as I said at the beginning, will also will be available there. So you are welcome to join, to develop and um, develop you as you as yourself and uh, to increase your team of course and to develop your team members so uh, 
Mr. Ahmed Suleiman Dazumi. Impressive presentation. Kudos. So thank you for your feedback. Uh, but what is kudos? I do not know what is the language. So yes, Lobman Arnold, thank you. Mr. Unego Bright, very informative. Thank you. And Mr. Ella Fog, hey, Ellie Sylvia, Miss, uh, great. Thank you for your feedback. And thank you all. Kudos means well done. Oh, okay. I see Mr. John Bossy. Thank you for explanation. So uh, if there is no questions, I'm, I was uh, happy to see you all today participating. And thank you all for active participation to give giving your for giving your uh, feedback and sharing your impressions thoughts so see you on next webinar and see you on next meetings trainings and other kind of events so together we are creating the future thank you all and together we help ourselves help the planet and develop together thank you Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.